Celebration Elevation. And today we're gonna to make a black cauldron for Halloween. And so what you're gonna need is a plastic black cauldron, some matte black paint or black chalkboard paint. The chalkboard paint is really dull and that's what I want, so that's what I'm using. But you could also use a matte black if that's what you have. Some Mod Podge, uh, some acrylic paint in brown glitter, and then also metallic uh, of any kind. I'm using silver, but you could use copper or gold. Some foam brushes and a brush with bristles, and then you're gonna need some tissue paper. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this black cauldron, I'm gonna take it outside and spray paint it all with the chalkboard paint, and then I'll come back and show you what to do next. I will also list these materials down below so you can see what you need and where you can get them. So I will do that and I will be back to show you what to do with this after it is painted black. Hi, okay, so we're back. And I have a black cauldron. I have spray painted it with the chalk paint. And now what we're gonna do is use a technique that I used on the uh, poisons book that I made last week, or a couple weeks ago, I guess, two weeks ago. So it's just the same technique. So I took the Mod Podge, I put it in a bowl. I'm using one of the foam brushes. And then what we're gonna do is just spread some of the Mod Podge onto the cauldron. And we're not gonna cover the entire thing like we did with the book because we just want to add some texture in some of the places. So we don't want it just to be completely covered with the tissue paper, but we're gonna add it in some clumpy areas. And then when we're finished, we will hit it with a little bit more of the spray black spray paint just on top of the areas we did this with, with a tissue paper. So it's obviously, so it's black. So the, the Mod Podge will dry clear, but we also want it to um, cover the white tissue paper. And you know, you could use really, if you don't have white tissue paper at home, if you have like pink or whatever color, I would think it will probably be okay because you're gonna spray paint over that anyway. So I think you can use whatever color you happen to have. So what I will do is I'm gonna speed up the video so you don't have to watch this whole entire process. And then I'm gonna take it back out. I'm gonna spray paint over the uh, tissue paper areas, like I said, and then I will bring it back and show you how to finish things off so that it has that um, cool coloring and texture on it. And then next week, what I'm going to do is the video is going to be uh, showing you how to make a fire to go under the, a fake fire to go under the cauldron. And we'll have it look like a smoky fire going and the witch's brew going. <laughs> and so, so I hope you will watch the video next week too, so we can finish the project together. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this project right now, and then I'll show you what to do next. blotchy areas all over the cauldron and then now I'm gonna let it dry and then I will spray paint over that with the chalk paint again the black chalk paint and then we'll come back and finish the techniques with the other colors that we got so I'll show you that in just a few minutes okay so I'm back and I let the tissue paper dry um, with the Mod Podge and then I sprayed it again over the tissue paper with the chalkboard paint and so now I'm just taking some acrylic paint on a paper plate, some brown, and um, this one is saddle brown. Um, and then we're, I'm just dabbing it on, not dabbing, but just dry brushing it on to the cauldron. And I just wanna give the effect like it's old, rusty kind of, uh, dirty. So it's not just this nice black new looking thing. So I'm just dabbing the brown paint on and I'm really excited because it's turning out really well. I never know exactly. I don't practice this ahead of time, which maybe I should, but I don't. <laughs> so I'm just being honest with you. So I am just 
always really hopeful, but I'm never sure. And then I figure, well, if it doesn't work out, I will delete the video and do something else and start over. So, but this is the first time. So I am really happy with the way it's looking. And I'm just going around it a few times, just make sure I've got where I want it. And then just kind of get the bottom. And then, like I said before, next week will be fun because we will do the video on the fake, the faux fire um, for underneath this. And we will make it look like there are um, logs and skeletal remains and everything else burning um, on the, burning underneath this for a fire. And it looks really cool. So that I'm probably going to practice ahead of time so that I make sure it comes out okay. So let's see. Okay, so I did the brown. Now I'm going to add some silver. And I think it would also look really good with copper color or gold or something. But I'm just using this as silver because that's what I still have from that last project with the, the Hocus Pocus book that I did. Okay, so silver. Hitting that too, same effect with the brown. And yeah, I really like the way this looks. So this will be cute, or spooky, I guess. <laughs> so also you'll want to, I'm gonna do some glitter paint as well and just kind of see that what this is doing, I think the silver is just kind of adding the effect so um, it's not looking like perfect brown either. So we just want it to kind of look, I don't know, muddled, aged, never. So just putting it everywhere. And then, it looks good, right? Okay. So, so you can see it is, And then also, I think what I'll do is I will take some paper and just sort of, oh, I was going to mention, while I was um, washing out the bowl from the Mod Podge that I was doing the tissue paper with, I was wiping my hands on a paper towel and I noticed the paper, I was thinking the paper towel probably would have worked too. So if you don't have tissue paper at home, just take a paper towel, maybe dampen it so that you can kind of crumple it up and put that on instead of tissue paper. And I think that will work too. So whatever you have, whatever you'd rather use, you kind of can, um, you know, roll with whatever, whatever you have on hand. That's what I do, as you can see. So now I'm just dabbing on little bit of the glitter paint just to um, highlight some of it too. And I don't know how this is picking up on camera, but it's um, it's looking really good in, in real life. So, and if you stay till the end of this video, I'm also going to include a list of the materials you'll need for the next project for the fire pit for under this. So you can get that ready and you'll have that so you can make that when, when that video is done. Okay, now you're hearing my dogs barking. So I'm just finishing this up by dabbing the glitter, one on, the glitter paint on just to make it look a little bit more mystical, I guess. <laughs> and it's turning out so well. I'm really happy with this. I'm excited when they turn out well. <laughs> so if you guys like this video, if you like the content um, with the project, then I would really appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate that too. So just hit the subscribe button underneath the video. I will give you links to the products, that, the materials that I used, and also a list of the materials. So if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll be happy to answer them. Or if you have any projects you're, 
you're getting ready for it, any kind of parties or anything. So my party is coming up in a week and a half. And now I have ordered desserts and I'm ordering the appetizers. And then we're going to have wine, beer, soda, water, and then a signature drink. And I will share that with you guys coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. And at the end of this video, I will give you the list of materials for the fire. So thank you for joining me again, and I hope you like this project. I think it looks really cool. Um, and I'm, I'm not sure if it's, oh, see, I gotta get this part. Then. Take it upside down <laughs> and dab the paint up down here too as well, because you don't want it to look like the bottom was clean. So finish it up that way. And then I will show you, when this is completely finished, I will show a picture of that and you'll see how it turns out. So I hope you enjoyed this and have a great weekend. And hopefully I will see you next week for the fire pit. Thanks guys, bye.